When I first went to chiropractic college, like I said, they were arresting chiropractors for practicing medicine right, without right. a lesson, license. They called chiropractors quacks at that time. Yeah. There was a major lawsuit against the medical AMA, the American Medical Society, in the chiropractic profession won because they were trying to destroy chiropractors. Yeah. I was very instrumental in getting the President of the United States mm. to change the law and allow 40 million Medicare patients to go to chiropractors without the referral of a medical doctor. In the very first thing that Hugh Allen did, he calls a special election in 10 days yeah. so he can elect me <laughs> on the board. That is great. And, he, and, and as soon as that election is, uh, election is made, he calls for a recess. Yeah. He tells me, go in there and have those guys vote for you for the chairman and come back to my office. <laughs> I go back to his office. The secretary of state is sitting in one chair. The attorney general is sitting in another chair and the commissioner of education in another chair in Titus. He said, now you tell these people how you're gonna get accreditation in the state. I said, the first thing we have to do is we have to draft a legally defensible letter to go to every guidance counselor in the state of New Hampshire and make them aware that there are two non-accredited schools that are soliciting our students to go to these schools. And when we get accreditation adopted in the state, they will not be able to come back here. So, Next thing we have to do is get the, the Attorney General to allow me to have one of his assistants sit at every one of our board meetings because we're going to adopt a clinical competency examination that every student will have to pass before they can get a, a license as a means of protecting our citizens against unqualified practitioners. Mm. And that's what we had to do. The next thing that happens is very important and we knew this was going to happen. They sued the Board of Examiners. Mm. The Assistant Attorney General defended our board very well. He had me on the stand for two solid days, and we won the case. Yeah. They brought it to the Supreme Court, and we won in the Supreme Court. Therefore, accreditation was adopted in 1979 mm. in the state of New Hampshire. Every student from that point on had to pass a clinical competency examination. From there, they took me from the state to the national level. I became a director on the National Board of Examiners. I became the president of the National Board of Examiners for six years. They never had one more than two years. Yeah. And we adopted the clinical competency examination on the national level. And today, it's adopted in all 50 states. Every state has to pass a clinical competency examination to get a license. And for those six years that Titus Plumeritis was the president of the National Board, my name appears on every single one of those licenses that's, from those six years. That's great, that's great. From 1986 to 1992, you'll see Titus Plumeritis's name on every license. Every time the president came in, he was up for re-election when he came to New Hampshire, yeah. he would see Titus Plumeritis with the governor. So we got on the first name basis. He's calling me Titus and he says, you call me Jimmy? So I says, okay. One day he calls and talks to the uh, governor, Hugh Gallon. He said, Hugh, can you get Titus to get his crew to help me in New Hampshire like he did for you? Now this is Carter? This is, is Carter telling him, asking the, the governor, Hugh Gallon. Very good. So Hugh calls me in his office. I'm out in the car today because my wife was there every day. So I'm talking to her, and he said, Titus, can I talk to you for a minute? I said, sure, so I go in his office, and he said, the president called me and asked me if you can get your troops, and I said, geez, I'm sorry, Hugh, I can't do that. Hmm. He said, why? I said, because chiropractors are not included in the Medicare, excuse me, in the Medicare Act. He said, really? He said, well, let me call him. So I'm sitting down in there with, with the, the governor in his office, and he calls the president of the United States, and he speaks to the president's secretary, and she said he's meeting with a couple of members of his cabinet, but I'll give him a note so the next time he has a break, he'll call you. Yeah. 
Within 30 seconds, the phone rings, and it's the President of the United States. He said, Hugh, what can I do for you? Really? So Hugh says, I got Titus in the office. He tells me he can't support you because you didn't include chiropractors in the Medicare Act. He said, I did too. <laughs> he said, well, you better explain that to him. He said, put him on the phone. So I have the phone. Here I am talking to the President of the United States, one-to-one. And I said, Your Excellency, he said, get off that stuff. Just call me Jimmy. I said, okay, call me Titus, okay? That's great, that's great. And, and he said, we do have chiropractors on the Medicare Act. I said, you do, but there's a mandate in there. And the mandate says providing the, doc, the patient is referred by a medical physician. I said, that won't cut the mustard. Right, that's good. He said, what do I need to correct that? I said, you need to take that out. He said to me, well, Chip Carter's coming up for a fundraiser for Saturday for Hugh. When he gets there, I'll have him talk to you. You tell him what's needed, and we'll take care of that. I said, okay. Saturday comes up, and we're at the Wayfair. The place is packed. Everybody's in there. They want to see Chip Carter. Right, right. I'm looking in there. I said, there's no way in hell that we're going to have a chance to talk. So I abandoned that. I figured that was just uh, pulling smoke. All of a sudden, like again, like the, the, somebody's opening the waves in the river. <laughs> He's coming at me. I'm looking around. Is he coming at me or where? He's coming. Hugh Gallon's got him by the hand, and he's coming through the crowd, and he comes right in front of me. He said, Titus, my dad told me to talk to you about that, that okay, bill. And I said, wow. I said, you think we can talk here? He said, no. Oh. He said, I want you to send me a letter. I said, hey, listen, last time somebody told me to send him a letter, it went right in the trash can. He said, no, 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 I'm serious. He said, I'm going to give you this little code number. You put it on the bottom right-hand corner of that envelope. It'll come right to me, and I'll get it right to Dad. And he'll give it to Stu Eisenstadt, who's in charge of that. I said, okay. So I went home. We drafted a very nice letter. We sent it to him. And to speed up the operation, he gets the letter, and the next thing you know, I'm getting calls from ABC, NBC, CBS. They want to know where Titus Plumeritis is. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm Titus Plumeritis. <laughs> what do you want? He said, we called the American Chiropractic Association in Washington, D.C. We want to know how the president changed the language in the bill. He said, we didn't do it. A chiropractor in New Hampshire named Titus Plumeritis did it. <laughs> we cute. gave him the same royal treatment we gave uh, Hugh Gallon, and he, because he said to me, he said, Titus, Ted Kennedy is going against the ranks, oh, really? and he's running against me, and he's trying to embarrass me in the state of New Hampshire, yeah. and he's got a big edge on me. I said, we'll get, we'll take care of that. We'll give you the same treatment we gave Hugh Gallon, and we did. Yeah. And I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it's in the book. And he actually won in New Hampshire, and Titus Plumeritis so, had my whole crew and I got a picture of me in front of the polls. I got all 100 chiropractors and their patients and their, their uh, wives and children working all the polls across the state. And he won in the state. And then I became a, uh, the, the governor asked me if I would become, get it, become a delegate. So in case the president needed my vote in, in uh, Madison Square Garden where they held the National Convention. I said I would, so I went out and got the votes needed and became a, a delegate. And when I got to uh, Madison Square Garden, we had several fundraisers for the governor. I switched hats and I had the camera taking pictures of all the fundraisers. And when I wasn't there, I was out on the street yeah. with a big sign. Yeah. Great. Well, Ted Kennedy quit. <laughs> At the convention, he oh, yes, could right, see, right, right, he, right, could see right. he wasn't going to make it. He quit. And on the front page of the Boston Post, it shows that it said, Ted, Quen Ted Kennedy quits. And the uh, Greek Hellenic Chronicle put it on the front page of their paper. They had it all over the United States. And it's in the book. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Jimmy Carter thanked me for that. Sure. And there's a picture in there of... Uh, he invited Claire and I to the White House to go up and celebrate with him. Excellent. So excellent. we went to the White House, and uh, it's, it's a great story, and it's all in a book.